Hi, in this tutorial we are going to build an automatic uh, player for this uh, cool uh, game, BitStar. This game is uh, built on a very a simple concept, listen to a music and playing uh, with your mouse or, or keyboard. So first of all let's run, uh, let's run the game, I have already installed it and I will leave the link for the installation. So as you can see, I have to click the, the black tiles. So I'm missing this uh, tile. Uh, moreover, I have to click on this area, this perfect area. So I have to be fast and very quick and very ac accurate. So let's do it differently. Let's uh, pause the game and let's uh, build uh, an automatic player that will uh, run it. Uh, let's beat the game, basically. So first of all, we are going to install some uh, Python libraries. Most of the libraries are libraries that connect between Python and the operation system that enables to, to simulate a, a keyboard click and, and a mouse click. So as, as always, the first phase is uh, creating a Conda environment. I will call it a BitStar. Okay, we will wait uh, until it finish the first installation of creating the environment. Now we can activate uh, this new environment. And now we are ready to install uh, the Python libraries. So we will install, as I said earlier, some uh, Python in that enables Python libraries that enable us to, to connect or communicate between the Python and the uh, operation system, the keyboard, and the mouse. So please follow uh, these uh, uh, instructions. Of course, I will leave uh, an install uh, text file with uh, all the pip install uh, commands. Okay, after finish uh, installing the, the Python libraries, let's explore the, the area of the game. Uh, first of all, we will uh, change our uh, environment in VS Code to, to the new one, the one that we created. And now we are going to write a, a very simple code that helps us to explore the, the area of the, of the game, of the, the BitStar game. So we'll do some imports. Okay, we are going to use a function named uh, display mouse position. A very simple uh, function that display the position of each pixel when we are doing mouse move. So for each pixel we can see what is the x and y coordinates and moreover we are uh, can investigate what is the RGB of this uh, pixel. So what is the red, green and blue composition of this uh, pixel. Of What are the channels for each pixel. And black mostly is uh, a zero for each of the numbers and and the white is basically 255 so now you can see that uh, when I move into each of the of the columns of, of the games I can see what should be the Y position and the X position 
for example all the three columns of the games are approximately on 895 the exposition of of the left column is about 100 uh, 158 the middle one is approximately uh, and on the 361 and the last one is uh, about the, the exposition 560 so now when we have the the positions of of each uh, tile we can call the we can call the the this auto auto player it's like basically it's like a bot so uh, of course first of all we are going to import some uh, function and the uh, libraries and uh, then we are going to use the the coordinates that we um, investigate earlier and then we will run a simple uh, function that will simulate uh, the mouse click um, by investigating the the color of these three columns Let's define our uh, constant in var uh, variables, uh, the y position, the x position for each column, and uh, as I said earlier, the y position of course is similar for the three columns. The, the mouse is going to click on these uh, positions after it investigates the color. So let's define a function, a very simple function that simulates a, a mouse click. We will uh, call it mouse click and we are going to pass two arguments, the x and the y position uh, for, for the mouse click. Then we are going to use the, the Win32 Win32 API that help us um, to, to position our cursor. And then we are going to use uh, another function, which is the mouse uh, event for uh, clicking the left button. And of course there is the, the left down. Then we are going to wait for a really short time. And then we are going to activate again the mouse event for the left up. So basically we are simulating the finger, like clicking the mouse and releasing the mouse. Now we are going to create a loop. The only way to exit the loop will be pressing the, the keyboard, pressing the, the key, the, the Q, sorry, the Q key. And if the key is not pressed, then the, that means that the, the game is uh, uh, on the run and we are playing the game. So you can see if Q was not pressed, we are going to check what is the, the color of uh, of the x and the y position of the three columns since we have three columns we are going to to investigate the, the x position one two and three and then we are going to look for a color black but since the game is changing the color and it's not exactly black it's basically a dark color it can be a dark purple and dark blue so what I'm going to do is check whether all the the RGB is less than 50 uh, as I said solid solid black is uh, zero for red zero for blue and zero for green I'm going to check if the value of this uh, three arguments is less than 50. This is for me an, a sign or indication that I'm uh, pressing or I'm investigating a, a dark area. So if in this Y position, as I wrote earlier, and in this three X position, there is a dark area, 
I'm going to activate our mouse, mouse click. That means that we are going, we, we understand that this area has a, a, a black area in this Y position and so we can click the mouse and it will be a basically automatic uh, playing the game. Okay, so the code is ready. Let's run it. And uh, we can see that we have an error uh, with the import in this Win32 API. So I check this uh, error in uh, Stack Overflow and find out that I have to uh, reduce or downsize uh, the version of PI Win. So uh, now we are ready. So let's run our code and let's see our automatic uh, player beating the game as you can see the code is working perfect spots all these uh, dark uh, tiles and catch these uh, black tiles, it's all fine. Let's watch the game. 